couple of weeks ago, I provided you all with a no-lag emulator, which you seem to have liked a lot. In fact, many of you were even requesting for part two of that video. Therefore, in today's video, I will be providing you with an emulator that is not only 10 times better, but also comes with some unique features that you won't find in any other emulator. Speaking of system requirements, to run this, you'll need a minimum of 2 to 4 GB of RAM, and currently, there is no need for a graphics card. I've noticed that many of you don't watch the video completely, and then later comment that the emulator isn't working or is crashing, etc. Therefore, I recommend that you watch the entire video because the installation process of this emulator is quite different. So, let's start the video. Let's roll. First of all, let me show you the specs of my system so that you don't later claim that the video is fake. Look, my PC has only 2 GB of RAM and a 2.40 GHz processor. As for the graphics card, my PC has a 64 MB Intel HD graphics card, which isn't really useful for much. So, let's move on to the installation process now. You will find the links to these two files on my website, and if you're unsure how to access the website or download the file, I've provided a video link in the description. First, you need to launch the setup file, then accept the terms and conditions, and after a few seconds, the installation of the emulator will begin. After the installation is complete, you will see the Fusion Emulator's logo on your desktop. Double-click on it to launch the emulator. As I mentioned earlier, we might encounter an error with this emulator, so let's fix that now. First, right-click on the emulator's icon and navigate to its main directory. Then, extract the second file. After the extraction is complete, you need to copy all the files from this folder and paste them into the main directory of the emulator. All right, the error that was occurring should now be fixed. And now we'll simply launch the emulator. As soon as the emulator launches, you need to go to the main settings of the emulator. Here, you need to select mobile in the resolution and then set the resolution to lower. After that, you need to go to the core option and assign the maximum cores available. In the RAM section, you should select auto and then click on the save button to restart the emulator once. After restarting, you need to go to the main Android settings of the emulator and here you need to select the apps option. Then, you should click on free fire and choose the force stop option. After that, you need to clear the data of the free fire app. Then, you go back and choose the Activity Launcher app from here. Now, you need to click on Free Fire in this list and select the first option. So here, our game has started launching, and you might have noticed that there's an FPS monitor on the screen, indicating your game's performance. Previously, we could only see this feature in Bluestacks, but now you'll also find this feature in Smart Gaga. So, here I am at the login screen, and I'll proceed by logging in with a guest account. But if you prefer, you can also log in with your Google or Facebook account. All right, friends, I've entered the lobby, and from here, I'll start a match. Many people face issues with key mapping, but let me tell you that in this emulator, you'll find pre-configured key mapping. And besides, you can also adjust it according to your preference. Moreover, in this emulator, you'll get Minecraft like graphics. But if you have a medium range PC with four to six GB of RAM, you can also play the original game as well. You just need to uninstall this version and drag and drop the latest APK of the original Free Fire into the emulator and your game will be installed. So friends, that was the Fusion emulator. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like the video. And if you're interested in computer related content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you have a PC with 1 GB of RAM and you want to play Android games on it, then click on the upcoming video on the screen, and I'll meet you there. Bye.